Hi there, I'm Ross and this is my Friday film review. Each week I'll be reviewing a film that I've seen recently, whether it's old, new or even from the future. I'll try most of the time not to give away any spoilers, but please be aware that during this video there may be some possible spoiler alerts. Especially if the film's really bad, I feel it's very fair to tell you guys beforehand. So, sit, lay or even stand back and prepare yourself for this week's Friday Film Review. Hi there guys, um, I know I said I was going to be doing AVAR next, um, but that was last week and I was busy last week and now things have changed. So this week I'm going to do Big Hero 6, which um, is a superhero film, yeah, uh, but it's animated this time. And I know there's like other animated superhero films, like you have you have the Batman ones, and like they're, but they're kind of smaller features, this is, this is Disney taking on what is that it's actually a marvel property i didn't i didn't know that until i looked it up um and you know taking it and do, doing it justice i feel doing it doing it justice because i feel disney a lot with with both animated and live live action films in the last kind of few years have been slacking because you know they've had a lot of franchises to deal with and even though Big Hero 6 is probably the start of a new franchise, um, I feel like it's something that they could go in the right direction with. Something that could be possibly as big as, I don't know, no, I, I was going to say Toy Story, but no, not even that. Um, that makes it sound bad. It wasn't bad at all. It was a really good film, I felt. Really good film. Although, kind of, quite, quite sure, where, where, the other films I've watched have been, well, they've been big motion pictures, to be fair, but they've been quite long. Um, Exodus, especially. This was, it wasn't short. It was about, how it was about 102 minutes or something like that. <clears throat> um, but it kind of ended too abruptly for me. It ended quite quickly. Um, I kind of, I didn't want it to end, uh, I guess I'm saying, which is, which is a good thing in films. Um, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, it ended too quickly for me, uh, in all honesty. Um, it kind of rushed through the plot, and I think that's because, with obviously a lot of Marvel's other properties, we're, we're getting a lot of origin stories, and same with all the TV series and stuff as well, we're getting a lot of, of origins, a lot of, like, a lot of intro into where they've come, they've come from. Whereas this, it was kind of, there's, obviously there's six people in the team, but you don't get as much of an introduction into their backstory as kind of just the main guy the guy who brings the team together like the main character here who's um well named for the for the part um yeah he it's kind of it's his story in a way um and he kind of he brings the team together he gets them all kitted out he's like the tony stark of the team i suppose in ways um which is uh, a nice way to see it and he, he's just a kid who's really good at robot stuff um, I'm trying to just say a lot without spoiling it. I guess that's the kind of basic outline of it. There's this kid. Um, he's good with robot stuff. Something happens. He forms a superhero team, and they save the world. You, your basic superhero stuff. Um, but done quite well. I feel like done done in a way that wants us leave that leaves us wanting more. Um. <clears throat> Which is good from Disney, as because as I say, it's that's not been happening with with a lot of Disney films lately, because um, they just keep rinsing stuff and milking it, and it's too it's too much. But um, yeah, it'd be good to see more from 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 the film. Um, it would be yeah, it'd be good um, to get a sequel as well. Um, I imagine at some point in the next two three years we'll get a sequel to that, and that that'd be good because I, I I imagine there's more. To do with that, because like I say, it's a Marvel property, and it has some superheroes that you might not know. None of these are featured in the actual animated property because I'm guessing because Fox own, owns them because it has mutants that we've heard of before, like um, Sunfire or Sunspot. Let me um, I've got the Wikipedia here just in case. Sun Sunfire Sunfire, who was actually featured in um. 
Days of Future Past uh, in the in the present slash future timeline um, fighting against the Sentinels and also the Silver Samurai from the Wolverine film the second one or the first one if you want to forget about the Origins one that's up to you I quite liked it to be fair um, yeah they, they're they two people who also feature in the team they weren't featured in the film don't worry and that's not a spoiler really um, like I say because I guess Fox owns them and that's kind of sad because I think they would add to it and it is a lineup that does change but um, at the moment yeah, it's good they also for any fans of the actual comic um, I've been reading up about the actual comic and it, it is a different story in in the film like a different origin story for for all all of the characters from 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 what I can work out um, it doesn't it doesn't veer too much away, but just bear in mind, comic book films are an adaptation of comic book. But yeah, back to Big Hero Six. Big Hero Six, good film. Kind of, if it if it wasn't animated, I would see it being done in a way that Guardians was. But because Guardians was already done like that, I'm really glad they animated it because um, it kind of. It changed the way they could do things. Like obviously, it's a bit futuristic. It's really robotic. It's got that that vibe to it. It's, it's quite Tron-like, in a way. And obviously, a lot of people weren't exactly happy with what they did with the recent Tron, at least. Um, again, I quite liked it, but I never saw the original. I never saw whatever kind of story of Tron there was before the films or anything. I didn't know if there was or not. I, can't be bothered to look that up. Um, it is, it is in a way, quite Tron-like in its futuristicness. Uh, to put a word on it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm glad it was animated because I feel like that meant they could push some other boundaries that doing it in a live-action film wouldn't be able to do. I feel like it's more, oh, I want to say it's more relatable as an animated feature, but I can't back that up because I can't describe why I mean that. Um, anyway, got a treat for you. Because um, I missed last week and I was going to do Aviator, but that, I saw that like a couple of weeks ago now. I don't really, it's not fully in my mind. I am going to do another review for you, which is of the Bling Ring. <laughs> 